That one has a line on it. That one doesn't. That one does. That one doesn't. That one. The lines are real ones. And they come off. Welcome to Off the Ranch. My name is Matt. Today we're learning about dualies. This is not the right tool at all, but. Okay, I'll go get a real wrench. This is not a lug nut. Well, I guess it is, but it's just to hold the fake wheel on. And the real lug nut is down there, I think. And. I don't know. I need to get the fake wheel off and see if I can see the real wheel. We're taking the truck on a trip tomorrow morning, super early. You guys should come with, but I want to make sure I know how to change a tire on a dually in case we need to change a tire on a dually. <laughs> real lug nuts. I am so smart. Sometimes I impress myself. The problem is, these are easy to get to. These, on the other hand, are way up in there and I probably don't actually have something that will get that out. But there's two tires in the back, so I mean, what's the worst that could happen? One blows, we'll just keep driving, right? Until I get the other. That's probably actually what we're gonna do. That's not a joke. Starts right up. Runs like a dream. Okay, now I'll just back up. There's no backup camera. What about? I'm gonna have to turn around and use mirrors? What am I, a caveman or something? Yeah! Since this is a single cab, there's not a whole lot of room in the actual truck, so I wanna put a toolbox here. I actually still have the toolbox that came out of my blue GMC pickup. I kinda just use this for storage. It's got like all my straps and chains and stuff. I'm just gonna empty it out real quick and then I think it will fit in the bed of the big truck. Oh yeah. Like it was made for it, heck yeah. Also, this receiver hitch is a two and a half inch. Didn't even know that that was a thing. Uh, so I got a reducer here, a little adapter to make it down to two inch, which this will fit in. Aha! So that'll be good. So we have this figured out. We have that figured out. I feel like I need to show that I went ahead and put the pin in here because someone's gonna be like, Matt, you didn't put the pin in there. It's good. It's not going anywhere. Hey, danger. Hey dude. Ready for this trip tomorrow? Uh, yeah, do you tell them what we're doing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I just said we're going on a trip so okay. far. We actually don't have a name for it yet because the first video has not gone live as of this moment. It's gonna go live probably early tomorrow and this film will go live like after that. But So right now, I haven't seen any of your comments on what you think about the old girl, but she has no name yet. This is what I have so far that I'm gonna put in the toolbox. We've got a bottle jack here, I've got some tarps. Old t-shirt because we need like a rag. This was just stuff that was already in there. Um, big ratchet straps, small ratchet, or that's a medium. We got some small ones. We got some chains, some tensioners, more ratchet straps, ropes, jumper cables. We got a four-way. We got wrenches. I don't know. What else do you think? I think we're going to put a floor jack in there too just because I don't want to be cranking a bottle jack on this thing if we need it. If we get a flat tire, we're in trouble. Yeah, we'll just... Just right. leave it on the side of the road and, and film it. hitchhike right. home. <laughs> I'm gonna throw all this stuff in there right now. Okay, got some other things. I got some bungees in there. I've got a siphoner. I have some toe straps. I think, I think that'll get us there. Oh, floor jack. Gotta get a floor jack. Guys, Hi. what do y'all think about the the new truck? Good. You like it? Ah! I got it all loaded down with a bunch of stuff that we're gonna need for some video content on your favorite channel, Demolition Ranch. Also, also this thing. We got a trailer. We're we're towing a load. This is a big water tank, so when full, it's got an extra, you know, eight hundred thousand pounds on it. Already, like a day after I bought this truck and was a little worried, like, do I really need a dually work truck? I already am like, yep, totally. I'm gonna utilize this thing a ton, and just like. The workers at the bunker are gonna use this. Hi, Mayor. Just packing up. Hey, I haven't asked. Pretending that you have a need for this. <laughs> I told you, it gotta do work. You're loading it up just so that I. Yeah, we actually don't need half of this stuff. Hey, wait, wait, what's your opinion on it? Do you like it? I mean, it's fine. I just don't think it's necessary. You don't understand anything about work. 
She doesn't know. We are going to turn the camera off, go do family stuff, go to bed, and then I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Morning, Demolisha. Got the old girl, oh man, all shined up. Cold start up, first thing in the morning. It's like 6.15 in the morning right now. Oh, oh, like butter. There's danger. You gotta see this hat he's rocking. Morning, danger. Hey, dude. Hey, can you show off your hat real quick? Oh, yeah. This is a uh, high point firearms. Oh, wow. Pride and joy. Amazing. Uh, yeah. So, what I like about it is how many prints, there's, well, how many locations did they, they embroider the this at? They you know it's America, high point, still made in America, <laughs> and then they hit you with the uh, pistola. So you got one, two, three, four, six? five, six, yeah. Well, for, <laughs> it's a nice hat, you know? Yeah. High quality for high point. Giddy up, partners. Just checking in with you guys, wanting to let you know that everything is going well. Um, truck is running, it's pulling, it's actually, I can't even fill that trailer. It's a pretty small trailer for this size truck, but all is well. Uh, we're about 20% into our trip and life is good. Oh, uh, it says reduced engine power. Oh, it's temperature, we're hot. Yeah, we're gonna pull over and let her, let her cool down. Yeah, I just noticed that we, were, we just lost all power. I think we're overheating. <laughs> That's not good. Not good. Ugh. The temperature gauge was pegged out. I, it didn't, never turned on a light or anything, so I didn't see it. Uh, but it, it just I just noticed it was not accelerating past 60, and then it said reduced engine power, and I looked, and yeah. Our gauge was pegged out all the way hot. We are what, about an hour into the trip? So we made it an hour. Just far enough to get. Just, no just far enough to get to where there's nothing around us. We don't know anyone over here to come help us. Um, yeah, we might be a little screwed. Hey, Mayor, bring me some water, please. Bet y'all thought I wouldn't need this t-shirt. Well, you were wrong. Definitely glad to have it. It is low, that's, that's not oil. We might be out of oil, which is not good. Okay, we've let her sit for about 30. Let's see what happens. Startup was a little slower there. It just showed a little oil, well it went away. The gas station's about three miles up the road, so I'm just gonna limp it in there. We're gonna go slow, see if we can make it to the gas station. Wish us luck. Save the day. Hopefully this is all it is right there. Check this out. That might be our problem right there. I think we're cooking a little oil in there. Drink up, Power Stroke. Drink up. All right, moment of truth. We put the whole thing in there. All good? Still got a, a, It's maybe it just does it when it turns on. It did have that little oil thing for a second. But, yeah. All right, I'm actually going to go buy one more jug just for the road, just in case. Okay, if you're good, you can have some of this later. If you're good. We're stopping again, temperature pegged out again. <clears throat> like, not good, not good, okay. Let me pull this thing over, see if we can cool her down again. You know, under that tree looks pretty nice. I think I'll park over there. <laughs> and we'll see if we can figure out what's going on. It's already cooling down just by me pulling over and letting it idle. Maybe I just need to not go so fast. We're gonna check the oil level again. Maybe it's not oil though, I don't know. Oil level is good. It might just be that this thing overheats once we get, I mean, we got water, it looks like. So we're just gonna keep it like at 50, see if that works. All right, we're gonna get back on the road and hopefully we can not have to stop anymore. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, we're good. Uh, the problem is, should we keep going further away from home yeah. to get what we want to do done? Yeah, I think full send. Full send, you're right, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> what am I thinking? We are gonna full send this thing. Let's go. Hey dudes, we're here. We actually made it. Uh, we drove 55 the whole time, did not overheat. So, uh, I think we're good. We're setting up now, um, just a little, little video over there. I'll show you, I'll give you a little glimpse of what we're gonna do. I can't spoil it for Demolition Ranch. Uh, we're filming a Demo Ranch video today, and we have some special guys out here. Look, we got a five ton. Oh, that guy just fell down. You okay? <laughs> they have a five ton fire truck out there. It's so awesome. All right, far in the hole. Oh, I thought he would have thrown it further. <laughs> 
We are really sweaty. We've been out here for six hours. It was 106 degrees out here in Texas today. <sighs> and now we're leaving. And we have probably, I mean, it should just be two hours, but since this thing's overheating, could be a three hour drive ahead of us. We're gonna drive slow. I'm hoping I don't have to talk to you along the way because that means there was nothing to report, meaning the truck is running good. So hopefully I just check in with you at home tonight. So that would be really good. It is the next day and we made it. She runs fine as long as you keep her like below 60. So I gotta figure out what that's about. And I have posted the video where we said we were giving her away and then I saw the comments where everyone's like, oh Matt, you should have got a, you know, not a 6'4". I know, I know. Everybody's just telling me, Matt, you should have got a 6'7". Like, they're so much better, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm sure, they're way more expensive too. This is a work truck, people. Oh, it's not like my everyday driver. I'm not doing all kinds of crazy stuff with it. I just needed a work truck. And I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money. So I bought a, a used work truck. Turns out, uh, I'm not saying you're wrong, because there is a little issue with it. I'm gonna take it in, figure out what's going on with the overheating problem. Hopefully it's something easy. We'll keep you updated. And I know like there's some things that you need to do to those six fours. I plan on doing those things. Get off my back. Otherwise I love it. Besides the fact that you can't go over 60. It's great, but you know what else is great? I got a new drone. Yes! Mavic 2 Zoom. Check her out. Just came in the mail today. We're gonna to open it up and get this thing charging so I can fly it this evening. Oh, what's up? Product placement skiff knives. Oh, best knives ever, link in description. So the Mavic, I had the Mavic Pro Platinum was the one that I, I just crashed. And it was a great drone, really liked it. This one, as you probably can guess, get out. <laughs> this one, as you probably can guess, uh, has a zoom feature, wow. Well, that's fancy looking. The first sticker removal. Ooh, so this one has little sensors on the sides and on the back, which mine did not have, little uh, sensors to make sure you don't run into things, which would have been nice. Yeah, cool. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, we have the drone up in the air. I'm gonna start recording right now. Boom, okay, we are flying. Oh yeah, check out this, okay. There's a truck. All right, so here's what the zoom can do. Oh, yeah. So I can just zoom right in. Cool. One other thing that I noticed on this thing is it actually can look above vertical. So normal drones go right here. This one you can look even higher. You actually can look up with this drone, which is pretty crazy. The other ones could not do that. Let's go up higher. Let's go fly this thing around. Whoa, oh, crazy. There's a button that just jumps it down there. All right, I'm learning, learning. Ooh, ooh. Oh, check it out, there's a lake over there. Let's go look at it. Actually, why go over there and look at it when we can just zoom in? Okay, let's hit a little montage and uh, get some action shots. New favorite drone, hands down. <laughs> uh, okay, I had considered buying the Mavic Pro again, the regular one, because it's cheaper than the Mavic 2s. Uh, but I decided I wanted to try it, and I'm super glad I did, because it's, it's definitely better. The zoom, is awesome. Okay, one little housekeeping thing. Uh, we need to name the truck. These are the names that I picked that I like the most out of all of your suggestions from the last video. And so the way we're gonna do this is a vote and you vote by just writing whichever one of these you like the most in the comments on this video. And then I'll count them and in the next video I'll tell you which name it is. So here are my top picks from your top suggestions. Sasquatch, love it. Kind of like a big, tough, but ugly thing, yep. Buffalo, I like that. T-Rex, makes sense, you know, like big back legs and like tiny upper body, it's got dually in the back. I like I like T-Rex. Mullet, business up front, party in the back. I like that a lot. Bulldog, 
Uh, Clifford, it's not red though, it's maroon. That, that was kind of a good one though. Um, Darren, I just thought that was interesting. Wilma, okay, these aren't names that I liked. Walter, Walter's kind of funny. Um, Rhonda, no, not Rhonda. Okay, just, just the first one. Sasquatch, Buffalo, T-Rex, Mullet, Bulldog. Let me know in the comments below which of those names you think is the best. Thanks for watching Off The Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Hey, what camera is that number? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare.